Our first couple heading north of the border are 26-year-old Simon and his 33-year-old pregnant fiance Sam. <laughs> We're going to Gretna Green because there seems to be a very big theatrical side of things there. Just as well, because this couple aren't your average young lovebirds. They first met through their shared love of cosplay. Cosplay or costume role play. You choose a character from a game, a book, and you recreate that character and you dress as them. Their obsession with TV drama Game of Thrones means they spend their spare time transforming themselves into warlord Khal Drogo and dragon queen Daenerys. I do enjoy getting in costume and running around and messing about. <laughs> I remember how much fun I used to have as a kid, to be honest with you, being young again, I suppose. Simon first laid eyes on Sam at a comic convention 18 months ago. When I first saw Sam, she was wearing uh, her Daenerys cosplay. Love at first sight, I think. He passed me a note. It said, if you come as Daenerys to the next convention, I'll be a Drogo. That was kind of the beginning, I think. Their love blossomed, and six months later, Simon proposed. Now, before the birth of their first child, they're keen to commit to each other in fantasy and in reality. With putting a little bit of it into the ceremony, the dragons and the eggs, etc. I think that's, that's an important thing, because it shows that side to us, I think. It would be nice to make it official, wouldn't it? Yeah, At the Gretna Hall Hotel, Sam and Simon have arrived the night before their wedding. Do you want to put your shirts up? <laughs> Along with their outfits for the big day, they've also packed some unusual wedding accessories. Should we get the dragons out, love? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I just really hope everything works out tomorrow but I've just got to also try not to stress too much because it's not good for the baby. Please calm down. Could you please? Go on, go on down. Put your mum on the rest. OK. <laughs> it's the morning of her fantasy-themed wedding, and Sam, accompanied by her maid of honour, Skye, has popped into town to collect the all-important paperwork. Sam, it's closed. Uh, it looks like it's completely closed, so I'm just trying not to um, stress too much, but time is running out. <laughs> okay. Okay. With less than two hours to go until the ceremony, Sam is understandably anxious. What happens if you can't get a marriage certificate? Simon and I can't get married. Um, it's as simple as that. It's going to be fine, OK? <sighs> Skye has decided to take matters into her own hands. Yes, yes. Oh, my God, there's people! Sam, there's people! The, yes, there's someone there, there's someone there. They're coming round the front. Hi, we are supposed to be picking up her marriage certificate today, and this, today's the only day scheduled, and I know you're closed. It looks like Sam might be in luck, and that her fantasy-themed wedding will go ahead after all. Thank you. Which is lucky as the groom is already preparing for his grand entrance. After getting acquainted with his noble steed, warlord Simon trots off to the wedding venue. Mm. 
In keeping with the Game of Thrones theme, even the wedding minister, Sandy, has got in on the act. Uh, yeah, big cloak, um, kind of improvised with furry leg warmers. And, uh, of course, you've got to have a sword. So, yeah. Oh. After the marriage certificate hold-up, Sam is now running behind schedule. All and right, she's right. getting emotional. Okay. How are you feeling, Sam? Stressed, worried. I don't... Hey, why don't... Okay. You're about to marry Simon. Yeah, I know. I'm just. Nothing else matters. You're about to marry Simon. It doesn't matter. All right. Everything is gonna be great in like 20 minutes. I know. Okay. Yeah. And there's no point in crying until after you said I do. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the bride. It's been a stressful day, but the time has finally come for this fantasy-loving bride to wed her real-life hero. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, this is my solemn vow. Congratulations, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Sam and Simon's fantasy wedding is about to enter a whole new realm. As the new king and queen of dragons, things wouldn't be complete without a matrimonial blessing conducted in character. Anna Asta. Um, Sheka, this is a very special part for this, us. This is what makes it personal to us. It's really hard to find that one person that you know almost instantly that, yeah, this is it, this is the person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And they both knew that, like, from the day that they met. In the beginning, there was the sun and his wife, the moon. Here before the great stallion and in front of these witnesses, you are my breath, my stallion. You have given me the wind. After a shaky start, Game of Thrones has finally made it to Gretna Green. Not everything went without a hitch, but at the end of the day, it was what we wanted. So I think that's all that counts, to be honest. It's in the icing, it's through the cake. There we go. But yes, we're married and I'm so happy about that. Behind this uh, rather plain facade, I'm actually ecstatic. Uh, <laughs> well, it was an awesome day. <laughs> and now I want to go to bed. Yeah, <laughs> me too. For one happy husband, the stress of the day finally proves a little overwhelming. It's bedtime, isn't it, sweetheart? Actually, fallen asleep. <laughs>